Hey guys, Bo here. I'm always on the lookout for incredible B-roll videos, especially right now, cause well, what else are we gonna do, right? Anyways, I'm a big fan of Daniel Schiffer and his handheld style and you know, fast speed ram transitions. And when he made this mock Cheerio commercial a few weeks back, well, here's a video in case you haven't seen it. That was incredible, especially using the tools that he already has. That inspired me to challenge myself to make a mock video on the same product uh, with a different feel. So let me know down in the comments if you guys think I succeeded. If you're interested in doing something similar, uh, I'm gonna go over what I did to shoot this video and also take you guys behind the scenes because, well, that's what my channel is about, right? All right, let's get started. First thing I did was to come up with a shot list. Uh, I came up with a simple storyline in my head and I figure out how many scenes I want there to be. Next, I drew a picture for each scene. I wanted to show the placement of the product, uh, camera position, show whether or not there's movement, uh, what the lens to use, light placement, so on and so forth. So when it comes time to shoot, all I gotta do is go to my shot list, follow the direction without spending a lot of time figuring out exactly what to do. I wanted to keep the length of the video under 30 seconds. So the overall feel is gonna be quick pace. So for the first scene, I thought it would be cool to have uh, three cherry boxes with different flavors, putting the hero in the middle and the other two on either side, but slightly behind and use a dolly in move. So as the camera is moving towards the products, the boxes will swap places with one another to the beat of the music. In order to achieve this, I use a slider to do the same move, I think like six or seven times. And every single time I change the position of the boxes. Now the tricky part was to make the boxes look stationary as I dolly in. So I mark down the position of each box and when I swap them, they're in the exact same spot. With any slider move, it's best to use foreground to show depth and movement. So I thought a bowl full of Cheerios is the perfect prop to use. Since I had to repeat the move in the exact same speed, every single time, I use a motorized slider. Now, you might be able to get away with a manual slider, but you'll have to spend a lot of time in post to match the clips up perfectly. This next scene is pretty simple. I want to slide the bowl, the spoon, and the cherry box into the frame. I use a photography backdrop as my tabletop. I put together an overhead camera rig. This has been my go-to overhead for a couple of years now and works really well. It can handle a 1DX camera with a heavy lens without breaking a sweat. If you guys are interested in an overhead setup like this, I might be able to make a future video on how to make one. So let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to make a video. For any overhead shot, I generally don't like to light from above because well, depending on the product, sometimes it can cause glare or reflection that's really noticeable and distracting. For this scene, I backlit the whole tabletop. I use a two by one LED panel with diffusion. I also have a Westcott scrimgeon in front that, that really softened the light even more. Next is really just trial and error. It's not always easy to have the item slide exactly where you want to, uh, especially by hand. So that took a few tries, but it wasn't that hard to do. The scene after that is of course the Cheerio pour. I wanted the feel to be very immersive, like, like you're a Cheerio being surrounded by a bunch of other Cheerios being poured into the bowl. For this immersive feel, I used a Lauer 24 millimeter probe lens and I shot this in a 120p. Honestly, the biggest challenge here is lighting. In order to shoot 120 FPS, you need a decent amount of light. But when you pair that with a probe lens with its max aperture of f14, you need a lot of light. So this was actually a four light setup. I have the backlight cranked up pretty high. Another LED panel with a big softbox as my key light, an aperture 120D uh, cranked up at 100% with a barn door to focus the light on the bowl only, and a tube light on the ceiling to fill out the right side of the frame. And the only other thing that I did here was to add digital zoom in post. We all know you can't have a cereal commercial without a milk scene. And I wanted to split this into two parts. The first part here is the overhead shot, just like the Cheerio pour. Uh, this was actually harder than I thought, mainly because I didn't know which side of the lens I should pour the milk from. I did it from the left, from the right, from the front, and finally I found the best results actually from behind the lens. 
So in the video, it looks like it's being poured from the bottom of the screen, but not completely covering the frame. I also wanted to have the camera come down from the top as the milk is being poured. So since I really can't move the camera, I just move the table since it's a sit stand table. I can't tell you guys how many times this table came in clutch. The fact that you can move the table up and down instead of the camera makes it super versatile. The second shot of the pouring milk scene, um, I wanted the view to be from the bottom looking up. And since I want as much detail as possible, I use a 100 millimeter macro lens and the camera was placed slightly below the tabletop to show the detail of the milk as it's hitting the Cheerios and the box is in the background just out of focus enough that you can still tell it's a Cheerio box. The next shot was about as DIY as you can get. I wanted to get a POV style of making the audience feel like, like you're feeding a spoonful of Cheerios into someone's mouth. So all I did was use some gaff tape. I taped a spoon onto the probe lens. Uh, the focus was on the spoon so I wouldn't have to worry about focus pulling while doing this. Next up, I wanted to show the Cheerio was so good that the only thing left is an empty bowl. I laid out some props uh, like the Cheerio box, a plate, and a coffee mug, uh, sprinkled some Cheerios onto the table, and slid the empty bowl into the frame. The next scene was probably the most time consuming scene. Now I know absolutely nothing about VFX work or a green screen and I didn't want to do a stop motion either and I wasn't sure how I was going to spin or remove the box uh, with fishing wire, especially when I shot this by myself. And then it came to me. What if I use magnets? I got a couple of really strong magnets so I took out the Cheerios from the box, I dropped the magnets in, I just try to move it around and get it right. This scene probably took me well over 20 maybe 40 tries to get it right. Um, I'm sure by luck. It was pretty hard to move the box and make it look smooth and not jittery. While it's not perfect, I think the result wasn't too bad. That was originally gonna be my final scene, but I wanted to do something extra, you know, go that extra mile. Since the Cheerio brand is all about preventing heart disease, and even on the box, they have this bowl that's shaped like a heart, I thought it would be pretty cool to finish off the video by putting the Cheerios in a heart shape and let it fly in the air in slow-mo. This was a simple one take shot. All I did was I used a diffuser on a frame, uh, clamp it and put the faux tabletop on it. I arranged the Cheerios in a heart shape, put the camera at 120 FPS on my overhead rig and boom, easy peasy. With every commercial, it doesn't matter if it's 10 seconds or two minutes long, you need to tell a story. I wanted to get everything right during filming so I can spend as little time as possible during edit. Honestly, the most time consuming part of the edit was to make sure uh, all the movements and the transitions were in sync with whichever music I decided to pick. This was a great learning experience uh, and I definitely learned a lot. Everything I used, I already have. So even if you don't have the exact same things that I used to make this video, you just gotta be creative and improvise. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did drop a comment let me know and give this video a thumbs up and if you guys want to see more videos just like this make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you'll be the first one to know when i drop a new video that's it for today thanks for watching catch you in the next one